Hello, and welcome to DevOps Quick Bytes, your friendly guide to all things Salesforce DevOps. In this episode, I want to tackle a crucial issue in the world of Salesforce deployments, environment drift. So if you've ever run into unexpected issues during your deployments because things work differently in production compared to your sandbox, you've probably encountered this problem. If you want to dive into what environment drift is, why it happens and how you can prevent it to keep your deployment smooth and predictable, then stick around. So what exactly is environment drift? Well, in Salesforce, we often work across multiple environments, development, testing, UAT, and production. Environment drift occurs when these environments fall out of sync with one another. Essentially, what's deployed in production doesn't exactly match what's in your sandbox or staging environments. And this drift can happen for various reasons. Hot fixes that are applied directly to production by admins or developers or just because changes were made outside of the formal DevOps pipeline. And when drift happens, it's not usually obvious until you try to deploy something new. Suddenly, a deployment that worked perfectly in your sandbox is now failing in production, causing frustration and delays. So let's talk about why this is such a big deal. Environment drift can lead to deployment failures, if your environments aren't in sync, deployments might break because a critical component was updated in production, but not in your sandbox. Sometimes small manual tweaks like changing a validation rule or modifying a permission can cause unexpected behavior, which is especially dangerous when these types of change bypass your source control. And it makes things harder to debug. When an issue pops up in production but can't be reproduced in your lower environments, finding and fixing that problem becomes a lot more difficult. And of course, in regulated industries, maintaining a consistent and auditable set of environments is absolutely crucial for meeting those compliance standards. Drift could cause your system to fall out of compliance without you even realizing it. So let's talk about how this drift happens in the first place. The reality is Salesforce is a dynamic platform. Changes can come from different sources, for example, manual changes by the admins who are bypassing that deployment pipeline or those hot fixes that we mentioned earlier that solve urgent issues but don't get synced back to the other environments. And missed deployments where changes in a sandbox never actually make it to production. And then finally, there's those customizations that are done outside the pipeline, like changes made in a sandbox that never really get properly tracked and deployed. If you're not monitoring and managing these changes, Drift is almost guaranteed to happen. Okay, so now that we know what drift is and why it's a problem, let's focus on how to prevent it. Number one, adopt a source control centric approach. The most effective way to manage environment drift, of course, is to centralize all your changes into a version control system. So whether you're using Git or another system, everything should flow through source control. If it's not in source control, it shouldn't be in production. This makes sure that the source of truth is always in sync across environments. So number two is monitoring for unauthorized changes. Even with the best intentions, people make manual changes, often directly in production. So implement metadata monitoring tools that capture real-time snapshots of your environments. These tools can alert you when a change happens outside your pipeline, and this gives you visibility into the who, what, when, and where every change, intentional or not, came from. Number three is establishing robust deployment pipelines. These will help you enforce structure. So use continuous integration to ensure that changes are tested before being promoted down through those environments and use continuous delivery to automate the movement of those changes between the environments. When everything's automated and reviewed, there's less chance of those environments falling out of sync. And number four may seem a little obvious, but regularly sync your environments. Be proactive, sync your sandboxes with production. Make it a habit to refresh your sandboxes periodically, and this can help catch any of those manual changes from production and apply them to your lower environments. But do be mindful of that timing, as you don't want to disrupt any active development. Perhaps consider stashing your in-progress work for later merging back into the pipeline. 
Number five is to use change tracking mechanisms. Make use of tools or manual processes that will track these changes across your environment. Many teams will benefit from implementing tools that help track metadata changes, giving you that clear view of what has been altered in each environment. And that'll help you avoid surprises when you move from development up to production. For example, if you're working with pipelines, sandbox updates help maintain alignment. With solutions like Gearset's developer sandbox updates, you can track every promotion to your base branch and ensure those updates are synced back to your sandboxes. This method will ensure that your sandbox will stay aligned without losing any of that work in progress. You don't want to upset the developers. All right, so before we wrap up, let's have some quick tips to keep your environment drift in check. Establish a rule, no manual changes in production. Everything should be deployed via the pipeline. Always review and compare environments before deploying to production. Just a quick metadata comparison can save you from a lot of headaches. Refresh your sandboxes often, but make sure that you're not overwriting valuable work. So schedule those refreshes, or schedule, depending on where you're watching from, based on those project timelines. And use automation tools wherever possible to handle repetitive tasks like syncing environments, running tests, and deploying the changes. So there you have it. Environment drift might seem like an invisible enemy, but with the right strategies, you can prevent it and keep your Salesforce environments in harmony. Now, if you found this episode helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all things Salesforce DevOps. And remember, keeping your environments in sync is the key to smooth, hassle-free deployments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of DevOps Quick Bytes. Until then, happy deploying.